Welcome, 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 one and all, fans, nerds, and geeks, back to the Game Yanks for another Kyla's Let's Play Subnautica. Let's have some fun on this episode and enjoy what I do today. Let's see. Today, let me start off by saying I was an idiot and didn't save on the last episode, apparently. But I do already have another freedom already going. And we do have a base. And I've got a locker, which has some quartz. And I do have silver, some lubricant, magnesium, which is three salts put together. Let us see here. Today, I want to... I see that's still not showing. Today, I would like to... And along with that, I have no bioreactor. So I am terribly, terribly sorry about that. I want to do some exploring today and try to find lithium. So I can make my stronghold on my hull stronger. And I can build more things and maybe even aquarium. But first, what I'd like to do is try to also build an O2 tank. So I can go into deeper depths. Let's see. Do to do. do. Oh, there's a little hole. Oh. Oh. Like I said, since this is a little bit of a different, different one today, I do not have crash powder. But as you all saw. You know what the crash look like. Evil. Plain evil. So. Let's take our time here. To find some titanium. So I can build some more oxygen. And we will be off on our lovely journey. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So I am truly sorry that I don't have the same one. I feel a little ridiculous about that. And I'm also. While I'm thinking about it. Let's see. Get my knife out. I'm going to cut up this plant. It's the withering reed. And that gave me quite a bit. So, I'm going to put it in my waterproof locker. And we shall be good to go on our journey. Now what that does is you can plant the withering reed inside your aquarium. These here are all parts of the aquarium. Right here. Yeah, these here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they grow. It's actually really cool. But you only get a certain amount of spots to do it with. So, alright. Now, back on track here. Let's go find some titanium. Yes. And right now, I do not have my Zelda. She's not here. <sighs> I guess she doesn't want to be my game buddy today. But let's see here. Yeah. Do you have some more titanium? And on my journeys, I'm going to try some blueprints for solar power. Because I still need that solar power, dang it. Let's go ahead and make glass, get some of that quartz out here. Let's see. Tools. Nope. O2 tank. I need two titanium. And I don't think I have enough titanium, which I do not. So... As I said in the first episode, titanium is your friend! Love it! Like it! Enjoy it! It's amazing! Let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see! Alright. I'm gonna go ahead... Drop a bunch of this. I do need... Oh! Actually! There we go. I have some titanium right there, so... And yeah, I still have no power, so I can't do anything in that just yet. We're traveling in the world. Let's see. Up we go. Um, let's see, let's see. We want personal. Oh, I need glass. Silly me. Always forget about that glass. I don't know why, but I always do. And as you can see, I do have a really pretty view in this one. You can see forward, see all the rocky areas with all their holes. And to the sides is like the abyss, the unknown. Let's see, go to glass. Well, I got one glass. Luckily, I have more quartz to make glass. I still want to use that. I'm used to using that in my other game, but... That is a no-go for the moment. 
Let's see. Go up, go up, go up. And yes, I've had about a half of a fra frappe today from Red Onion, so... I'm a little wired for sound. Do do. All right. Ooh, wait, while I'm here. Boom. This should bring me up to... Ah, uh, 135. You know what? For kicks and giggles here. Let's make a 165, everyone. The only problem is... That's what it does. It took up four squares. But I can last longer underwater. Oh! It is spookity! So... What we need to do is... Um, let's see... Need to find... Oh, what you call it? Fragment! Yay! Sweet, sweet, sweet! There's a lot of... Shipwreck salvage. I guess it's not really a shipwreck. When it just dies. But... Let's see. Ooh. And I do hope to plan that... I can start building on to my little room there, my one lonely little room. And I'm hoping that once I start building onto that, we can put tubes, walkways, and get the little hut going. But like I said, I'd like to find some lithium today so I can make my hull stronger and we don't have to worry about losing anything. Of course, you really don't lose anything in this. Let's see. Oh, look what I found! Is it a good one? Is it a good one? <gasps> sea moth. Come on. Boom. I have two of three. So we are getting there. Slowly but surely. And it doesn't hurt to go ahead and mine crops. Either from the limestone or sandstone heck you might even find some diamonds somewhere in there which is a good thing oh there's the upgrade part I have one of three still doing good and we got the nasty sand shark in my last episode I had mentioned that oh that's a scary thought Oop. I am going too close to the ship, aren't I? Didn't even... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not realize that. Oh, looky there. I died and lost some stuff. Go figure. Alright, I need to reevaluate where the ship is. Okay, so don't go that way. There's too much radiation. Right now I don't have enough stuff for the radiation suit. So, we're going to go through all these rocks. At least I found some fragments so I can get that going too. That's going to be awesome. Let's see. Let's see. And random note of the day. I have my a bow on and I have a hair bit bow. If that did not make any sense, it's an 8-bit bow that I have in the back of my hair right now. Figured that would be the most random thing of the day. Let's see, got the rabbit rays, air sac, there is a lot of rabbit rays. Ooh, going into some darkness, darkness. Let's see what all I lost. Ah, I didn't lose much, it doesn't look like I've lost a lot. Probably just the frag, or not the fragments, but the, the crops here. Let's see. And it's really nice to have 165 because look, I'm still going and don't have to worry about losing air. This is fantastic, people. It really is. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And again, I'm sorry about losing my first go away. About losing my first game that I was originally playing. But I had originally started this as well and just decided, well, I already have it. Let's do this. 
So, let me see. I'm trying to stay above because I can't see right now because it's dark. Um, do 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 do. Let's see. Um, sand shark, more of them. And right now, what I'm trying to find... Oh, that's creepy. What I'm trying to find is... Um, let's see. Dark kind of cave-ish in the bottom. If that made any sense to anyone, which it probably did not. But... Oh, what do we got? Oh, more titanium. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. We're getting there, we're getting there. I have one of three. And it's getting light. Yay! That's awesome. That's a good thing, guys. Not bad. Let me put you away. Go up for air, because I'm pretty deep here. Do I have any fragments behind me? No. One yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Now, when you die in the water, you do lose things. But I believe if you get killed by something, you don't. Even at 165, if you are down deep in the depths, your oxygen goes down further. I guess it's because you're so deep into the water. But once I find enough fragments to get my sea moth built and the mobile bay, we can actually build a little sea moth. And it's like a little su miniature submarine is the best way I can ex explain that. But it is a pretty neat little deal. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. I, I told y'all it was very creepy at night. Let's see, do I have any creepy... But, yep, there's a biter there. Let's see what I can get from these. Sometimes you can get really lucky. These are neat, too. We're going to give them a scan. They're like a parasite. I think that's what it tells you. It's just a little parasite. Oh, it's a floater. Creepy. Creepy little thing. Well, they let me scan that one, but not the other one. That's really weird. Scanning, scanning, scanning. We're all going scanning. Do, do, do. Oh, and I found another fragment. We're doing good. Good episode today. Let's see. Let's see. And I'm going right. How did I get turned around? I don't know, but we're going to get this fragment. Let's see. Hope it's something good. Sea moth. Sweet. I just need the mobile bay to get it. And I have the blueprint. blueprint Alright, still no look on the lithium. So we're gonna go adventuring out a little bit more. Is that my house? I see my house. Alright, since I do have some supplies here, I'm gonna go ahead and drop them off. Let's see, in the floater, I'm not quite sure what you could do with it yet. But, oh, I don't know what this is. I have definitely made a discovery. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. That's another pod, because mine's over there. That is really neat. I have not seen one of those yet. I can't believe I found another pod. Ooh, and something really, really cool is uh, you can actually find an island. There's an island somewhere around. It's, as of right now, it's probably going to take me a while to find it. Let's see. But, let's see, while playing another freedom game, I played that for like 14 hours already. It is supposed to be huge, but the little island I found wasn't that big. 
but you can find uranium on it. So it, not quite sure we can use uranium on it. Oh, pardon me for a second. But we, I'm hopefully we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, soon enough. I'm hoping. I don't know. Figure out what it is for. I'm finding a lot of titanium. And you have to be careful around these parts, too, especially around the ship, because there is a leviathan creature. If I'm getting too close to his den, he will let me know. He's hateful. Oh, I didn't fill up quickly. Alright, let's see here. I know this is pretty boring, guys. Sorry. Just kind of searching for fragments as well so I can get some stuff. All the blueprints. Because I want that mobile base so I can show you the sea moth if you have never seen it. Hey, guess what? I got gold. <gasps> There's another fragment. Like I said, guys, they're everywhere. They're actually kind of hard to find sometimes. And I've got... Biters. I don't like biters. Hateful. Hateful creatures. Ouch. Die. Kill as many as I can here. I can't find them. Crazy part is, they float to the top when you kill them. I don't know why, and you can't grab them. I thought grabbing them would be pretty neat, but it's kind of pointless. Now, if you get too close to the ship, in front, sides, or back, I believe is when the creature decides to show his leviathan head. And he is huge. And he's not the only creature down here that big um i've seen i've been watching markiplier as well play this game and not only that he has been told that there is a creature down here called the emperor i think is what he said the name of that was but i have not seen him i don't know what he looks like ah go away I'm telling you the biters are just hateful I told you they're persistent little buggers. Get away from me. So it is quite difficult when you've got them following you like a little lost puppy. They don't leave you alone. They just don't. So, let's see what we got here. Mobile vehicle bay. I think this is two. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, geeks and nerds, I think I might in this episode be able to get the mobile bay unit. That's going to be so sweet. And I mean, oh, I need that too. That is actually part of the... So, hello. Hi, friend. How you doing? I'm going to call you Sharky. Let's call him Sharky. Sharky the Sand Shark. I don't know if I can get close enough without even killing me. Oh, he disappeared on me. Okay, there he is. Come on, get close enough. Get close enough. Yay. Come on. Come on. Hunter, come on. Oh, I already have the Cyclops hole, I guess. Oh, looky here. Looky here. Alright, I am kind of back where I started here, which I think is actually away from the ship. Or there's a lot of radiation through there. I don't remember. Because there's the ship. I think it told me there was a lot of radiation detected over there. But it is really neat that I found... This is actually really neat. You can actually go in and search it. But I think a sand shark is in there. I'm not for sure. But this is a big chunk of the ship. Because I have so much oxygen. We're going to explore it. Yes, no, maybe, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Alright. If I can get down there. <gasps> Parts and pieces of the ship. This is amazing, guys. Desk. 
Oh my goodness. Takes forever. Let's see. <gasps> you can scan the chairs. And it's the easiest way to get blueprints. Absolutely love it. Got another one. Alright, let's go ahead and get get out of here. If I can. So I can get my oxygen refilled and head home because I am almost full on my inventory and I don't want to get that full yet. But that's what those parts and pieces of the ship look like underneath. Underneath. Inside. If I can get my story straight, we will be good. Oh, look at all the fish popping out. It's like SeaWorld. Jump! Flipper, jump! Alright. Here we be. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love having all the coral and flora and fauna all around. And all the little fishies. I love it. Love it. Might go ahead and start trying to build a little bit also onto my little housing unit there. Yep. That sounds about right. Okay, let's see. I do have a bioreactor. Like I said, from the first episode, if you know how to get the fungal sample, please let me know so I can actually test out my bioreactor. I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see. Titanium. I don't think I have the mobile base stuff yet. I can do another waterproof box, which I don't want to do. So, I'm going to kind of build on here. And I am going to put some windows in at some point, too. But, okay, just to... Do we want to do glass or titanium? Oop. We want it. Oh, and you can change it too. It's really neat. There we go. I don't know what it still is today. Quite it. Quite it. Make a corridor. Come on. Pardon me, everyone. This is not cooperate. There we go. Build me out a corridor. And let's make some glass. Let's see. Do I have enough to make glass? I don't. So. Let's see. I need to get some more quartz. Which I think I've got some put away. But this is going to be really neat. You can make windows. Mm. I went into the wrong thing. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Alright. Give me just a moment, guys. I'll be right back. Alrighty, back in here. Let's see. Want to get some glass going? Oh, my bow. There we go. Eh, close enough. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and deposit some more. I have enough titanium that I can build, keep building a little bit more on. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put the gold in there because I don't need that just yet. We're going to use the health. I do need the glass, which I don't have, of course. Oh, and I do like naming everything. Oh, readjusting, readjusting. We're going to call this... I'm going to have one for ores. So, like, for silver, gold, and copper. And you can also make builder... Builder. Ha 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 ha. Bigger lockers. Just, I do want to do that at the moment. Not yet. But... Let's go get some more quartz, and we can build ourselves 
um, some glass windows. Oh, we can see out and see all the pretty little fishies swimming. Uh, let's see. Table. I'll probably use those eventually, but not right now at the moment. Yes, nighttime approaches. Unfortunately, I see that. It's creepy. I don't have a fish like you yet. Come here. Hello, fishy. I believe that's the boomerang fish. But once I go in, it'll tell me, well, it should tell me that I have a new species identified. Which isn't a bad thing. Because you can learn all about different kinds of fish and the corals and stuff. It will tell you information about it. Let me see if I can find that information. Alright. Up here you have your inventory. You have blueprints. You have logs. Photo albums. And data bank. You can go into your data bank. Alien life forms, coral, fauna, flora, and aura. There's planetary, geology, technical, and welcome. Which, well, we don't need that. There's aurora... Tells you a little bit about it. Oh. The planetary. Technical. Bee equipment. And the welcome. But we don't need to see the welcome. As you can see, my mobile vehicle. I have two of three. I have one of three on the base upgrade console. This is your mobile bay. This is what you want to get your Seamoth. And the Seek Glide is amazing too. Absolutely love that. And this big guy. Once I can find all the pieces. Hi, Zelda! Is the Cyclops, which is like a big submarine. You can name it and everything. Change the color of it. It is awesome. But the Sea Glide is what I was telling you about in the first episode. You can actually put batteries in it. And it goes a little bit faster. So it's one of the best items you're going to want in this game. Especially if you go down in the deep depths. Of the ocean into the dark abyss. Spooky. Anyway, go down into the deep dark abyss. You're going to want that little sea glide. Because you can get it turned on and it will get you to the surface faster. Let's see. And you will be a little safer. Uh, I don't know if I have enough materials for the bioreactor yet. But let me see if I can lay that. Do I have you yet? I don't know. My fish. I don't know if I have that yet or not. Let's see. Um, I need lubricant, which I do have. It's either in this or my locker. And I bet you it's in my locker. I might rearrange things in here too a little bit. Yes, I know. No power. Hang on, everyone. Come on, Zelda. She is on my lap, but I'm sorry if you can see her little tush. Come on, Zelda. Kitty butt. There we go. Ouch. Claws. Well, that was pointless. Anyway. Back to the sea below. What I do need is glass. So, let's go ahead. Oh yeah, I can't open. <laughs> I feel a little ridiculous. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, swimming to the pot I escaped in. Swimming to the pot I went in. Um, Alright, let's get some glass. I went in there for lubricant, didn't I? And did not pick up Hmm. What a lovely day. Alright. So I think what I might do is... I think I've got my locker on the wall. I think. Get that first kit. First aid kit. That thing. Yeah. One, two. What is the middle one? Let's see, from there, one, two, we are actually, we're going to do it this way. I'm actually going to make another hatch. So it's going to look a little bit different here, guys. Um, so we're going to just deconstruct it here. So now I can expand to either side and my opening is closer to the 
<laughs> I had a very floaty. Alright. We're going to deconstruct this too. Like I said, I'm going to move a little bit around. It's not going to be too bad here. Let's go ahead and put my fabricator back up here. Got my ores. And I'm going to go ahead and put my health pack, hopefully, in here somewhere. Okay, anyway. Alright, so also, since I have some glass, we are going to do that. I can actually see out of. Hey, y'all. How's it going? And I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I don't have glass yet. So, I don't have any more glass. I'm going to step right outside here. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. And notice how it spreads legs when you build it. I don't think in this episode, guys, that I'm going to find the lithium. It's going to take me a little while to find it. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So as you can see, I did nothing but build, and I'm sorry. I know it's nothing extremely fascinating. Let me see, though, if I can build... Okay, I need more glass. And I need lubricant for the bioreactor, which I will lay down here momentarily. At least so I can have something productive done. <laughs> You know, I went in the wrong thing again. I keep forgetting that I have that in all the lube in the Hello Fishy housing unit. Lube. I think that's all I need. I'm not for sure. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and set that little bioreactor because that is power. Yes. Sorry, excuse me. Alright. See, now that that's done... This is... I have... I can do creep vine sample, but the fungal sample... I have no idea where that's at. So, for everyone who has played this game... Please let me know, because I have no idea what that looks like yet. I haven't found it at all yet. But, uh... Alright everyone, this is all the time I have for this part here. I will be back again to play another part. And hopefully we can search for lithium, maybe do some more blueprints in the next one, and maybe build on to this. But um, I will see you next time. And if you haven't subscribed to Game Yanks, go ahead and do it. Because I'm on there. And let's face it, I'm awesome. So, I will see you on the next one. Have a good day!